Hey, welcome back everybody. We have a holiday today, but we got some mail on Thursday after the video was for Friday and Saturday. So I thought, let's get to it. Coming a little bit later than usual. First one's coming from Charlotte, North Carolina, the fake queen city. This is uh, autographs TCM through the mail. We send our favorite athletes like Frank Viola cards through the mail. Got that at the uh, recent card show. 83 Fleer rookie card of Frank Viola. Sweet music. 64-year-old left-handed pitcher. He had a really great career. 15 seasons. 82-96. First eight with the Twins where he became a superstar, I guess you would say. 1987 World Series champion. Was named World Series MVP. And then the following year, he won the uh, Cy Young Award. Led the Major Leagues in wins with 24. Three times an All-Star altogether. And... 120 games again for the Mets in 1990. Twins Team Hall of Fame, 176 and 150 overall record. About 2,000 strikeouts. Really great pitcher. 10 days, $5 fee per. Nine days, nine days, $5 fee per. All right, Metroplex Michigan. Way to start things off with that. Okay, who's this? Thanks for donation. We will. Match it to one of our 18 charities. Thanks, Mrs. Lolich. Mickey Lolich is here. And hope he signed. <laughs> there he is. 64. We got this at the same card show. 64 rookie, Mickey Lolich. Boom. There were some rumors that his wife was signing for him. In fact, when I got that Klecko return last week, when I started reading that note about him being sick, I thought this is from Mickey Lolich. Because I heard he's been sick recently. But that's really cool. 64 tops rookie card. 83. He'll be 84 next week. About 10 days. Left Another left-handed pitcher. I'm only going left-handed pitchers this video. Got this at the recent card show for 10 bucks. He signs through the mail for 25 Now he's charging 25 I sent cash. And another guy with a really great career, Cy Young. He was a World Series champ and World Series MVP. 68 for those Tigres. Finished 217 and 191 overall and about 3,000 Ks in his great career. 17 seasons, 63 to 79. He was a three-time All-Star. Very similar careers there, except Lolich had about 1,000 more strikeouts. Veterans Committee gave a big push for him in the early 2000s. He just didn't get enough votes. But he's a definite borderline Hall of Famer. A lot of Tigers fans think he belongs. And I'll put that note up there from Mrs. Lolich. And that is 10 days there. 10 days. $25 fee for Mickey Lolich. But that's his rookie card. Portland, Oregon. Up next. Portland. This should be from Chris Cards. There's Dan Fouts, baby. And I gave him a... Oh, didn't get the Hall of Fame inscription. But that's the rookie card right there. I noticed he's only been giving the Hall of Fame inscription when you send him multiple cards on one card. I was hoping it'd be the rookie, but I got zero. Maybe he raised his donation. I sent him, I'll have to check and see what I sent him, but that's the rookie card. That's the 80 and that's the 82 in action. That No borderline Hall of Fame here. He is in the Hall of Fame. Not a left-handed pitcher, but a right-handed quarterback. 15 seasons, he's 73 year old now. 73 to 87, six times in the Pro Bowl. And on the 1980s All-Decade team, here he is on the 75 tops in that rookie year. Straight out of the Oregon Ducks. Threw for a National Football League record 43,000 yards when he retired, which seems paltry in comparison to today's quarterbacks. They're throwing for 80,000. 250-plus touchdowns. Hall of Fame in 93. Longtime NFL announcer after his playing days. Amazing career, Dan Fouts. 10, 11, 12 days. And I thought I sent him some donation, but he didn't put the Hall of Fame inscription. Cincinnati, Ohio! The true Queen City here. Called Charlotte the fake Queen City. This is the Queen City. Dave Parker. E -I -E. That, that's looking... Ooh. 74... Top's great card. Love that card. Got this at the recent card show as well. Got the Viola rookie, Lolich rookie, and the Parker rookie. 
And then when I looked it up, I noticed he's charging $40 now for his rookie card and for the uh, Topps Living. $40 for those, $20 for a typical card. The Cobra! And I thought I'm going to send it to him. He does have Parkinson's. His autograph is worsening. So he should be, talk about a Hall of Fame or he should be in a Hall of Fame. We got a four, three border, three borderline Hall of Famers. One is in the Hall of Fame. Parker's a classic case of guys who should be 19 seasons, 73 and 91, seven times in the All-Star game, two-time World Series champ, National League MVP in 78, two-time batting champ, and just for good measure, he was a great defensive player as well, won three gold gloves out there in right field. He's in the Pirates Hall of Fame. He's in the Reds Hall of Fame. He should be in the Baseball Hall of Fame. Ten days, nine days, nine days. Dave Parker, nine days, $40. Went through past pros and paid the $6 fee on top of that, $46. But they got a quick return. Northwest Arkansas. Northwest Arkansas. Now that's a rarity. Northwest Arkansas. Jim King on the tall boy on his rookie card. 68 All-Star game. Stay well and trust in God, JK. Hey, Michael, thanks for being a fan. You can fly if you try. Stay well. At 83, I can still shoot free throws and beat my grandson. Nice. Get out there and don't take it easy on him. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Jim King, Cincinnati here. I think he played for the Lakers, too, in his first part of his career. That's probably a Lakers jersey he has on there, a practice jersey or something. Yep, there he is, Los Angeles, San Francisco jersey. In the, and then he was traded to Cincinnati. University of Tulsa. He became the head coach there after his playing days. Depth in the backcourt. All-star in 68. What did he do in 68? 16.6 .6 points. Had his best season. That's really cool. 83 years old, as he says. Played 11 seasons. Point guard. 63 to 73. And coached for eight seasons total after his playing days, including five at University of Tulsa, his alma mater. And his number 24 is retired there. So, great career. Jim King wrote me a nice note. And 10, 11 days. These are all about the same. 11 days, no fee, Jim King. I think I got that at the uh, card show as well. Tampa, Florida, St. Petersburg, Florida. Last one. This is light. Two cards, Lou Pinella. That's his true rookie card, I think. 64 tops. Mike Brumley's no longer with us. There he is with the Seattle Pilots on the 89 Pacific. 1990 Pacific. Lou Pinella. Great player. Better manager. Another borderline Hall of Famer. Man, I'm just filled with borderline Hall of Famers today. That is really cool. Lou has, uh, kind of laughingly, he, he jokes about it. He's got a several rookie cards. The two-headed cards. I know he has this 64, he has a 68, 69. Got the 70 Tops Trophy card, which I'm also going to send him. He charges $5 per. He's 81 years old now, went through a cancer scare. I think he's went through his treatment and he's getting better. But he's signing again, Lou Pinella, 81 years old. And definitely a borderline Hall of Famer who probably make it as a manager. He was a pretty good player, played 18 seasons in left field and DH was actually the Rookie of the Year in 69, after having several different rookie cards. Won two World Series rings as a player for the Yankees in 77 and 78. All-Star in 72. And his claim to fame, as, again, as a manager, he won 1,835 games as a manager and three-time Manager of the Year and another World Series with the Reds in 1990. So he's got three rings, two as a player, one as a manager, and three-time Manager of the Year award. Sweet Lou! Three weeks' time there. 21, 22, 23 days. He charges five per. So that's it. Pretty amazing here. A bunch of borderline Hall of Famers and one true Hall of Famer here with Dan Fouts. Tell me what you think down below. Love to read your comments. Hope you're having a good day off and resting and rehabbing. Getting back to normal and started a four-day week ahead of us. If you haven't subscribed yet, click right there and then ring that bell. You'll be notified of any future video that I do post. I try to do this twice a week, Mondays and Thursdays typically. And if you missed last Thursday's video, I'll leave a link to that right there. Thanks for being with me today, and we will see you soon!